Hello doers and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio and today I'm going to be talking about Stealthywood, where we've actually recently hired a bunch of new interns to review and accept the best request for quotations from our vendors. But because they are so new, I'm a little bit worried that they're going to squander our budget. We don't have a lot of money, so let's keep it there. So thankfully through Odoo, we can actually set orders to require manager validation above a certain price limit. So using warnings allows us to display notifications while employees create orders. So not only can we grab their attention about an issue, but we can also entirely block them from completing an order with a specific product or vendor. So enough chit chat, let's go be cautious inside of Stealthywood's database and I'm gonna show you how all of this works. Okay, so to use approvals in the purchase app, we first need to go up here to our configuration menu and settings. Great, we've all seen this a lot. So inside of the order section that we have, make sure that the purchase order approval option is checked off and then I think we should also change the minimum amount. It's a little bit high right now and that makes me ever so anxious. So let's cut that in half, $500. So now if a user creates an RFQ that's $500 or higher, and that's the good part, it requires administrator approval. And then to lock this in, let's go ahead and hit save in the top left corner and we're all good to go. So now I happen to be the manager of Stealthywood. I get access and permission to anything and to do anything but the new employee can't do that. So I'm gonna once again go out of here to my main Odoo dashboard and go to my general settings. And this time around, we're gonna click on manage users. So let's go over here. All right, so we're going to change some of these user access rights. Now, once again, I'm gonna change this intern's rights. We're at the profile. We'll scroll down over here to the inventory section and you see where it says purchase. We have a nice little toggle over here. We're gonna change it over to user. So with PO approvals in place, any employees with user access rights will need approval from employees with administrator access rights in order to complete a purchase. By the way, if you're an administrator, we can actually change anybody's access rights at any time. So let's make sure to manually save just in case. Now next, let's implement some warnings to our workflow to help our new employee understand certain limitations about the products and vendors, you know, as they continue to create RFQs. So honestly, these warnings are actually super helpful for the entire Healthywood team. Healthy, stealthy wood team. I'm feeling a little bit like Odoopsies today. And it's because we tend to forget things when we're in a rush, like the name of our company. So to use warnings inside of the purchase app, we're actually gonna go inside of the purchase app first, then go to configurations. And this time around, once again, we're gonna go into settings. And here in the orders area, what do you see right there? Warnings, make sure it's enabled. Now warnings can be set both on products and vendors, and they come in two types, simple warnings and blocking messages. So first, let's add a simple warning to a vendor. We want employees to be notified about a specific vendor and how they are famously slow to respond to RFQs. This is important information that may prompt some of us to reconsider their vendor choice, especially if they're in a hurry to purchase something. So in our case, let's go up to the word orders. And this time around, we're gonna select the word vendors. Great. Azure interior will be selected. And then we're gonna go to our internal notes tab over here. So at the very bottom in the warning section of the purchase order, we're gonna select as we already have it right now, it's going to be a warning. And then we need to notify employees. They're very sluggish. And in our case, we have, we told them, they happen to be unresponsive. Don't use if in a rush. Please use another vendor. Great. Now remember the other option that we had was also a blocking message, but in our case, we just want a warning. And this is not going to completely prevent them from creating a purchase order. So in the text box below, we've already listed what we want. So up next, we can actually add a blocking message to a product. And let's go talk about that because I just showed it. So we want to prevent employees from making any RFQs with a specific product because we were informed that this particular item will be out of stock for several months. So let's go up to products and select products. And which item is going to be gone? We're going to select the cabinet with doors over there. So we're going to go over to the purchase tab. Okay, perfect. And at the very bottom, as you can see, warning when purchasing this product, we currently don't have anything right now. I'm gonna select in this case, a blocking message. And then, nicely so, it even remembers it because I've used this before. It happens to say not in stock until further notice, but I'm gonna add to this for several months. Great, we're all done. So with the approvals and warnings configured, I think it's time for us to switch over to our intern's account to see what a purchase flow looks like 
when all of these guards are up. Hey, what's up? I'm Iana, the intern. So I'm going to show you what happens when a new employee, like myself, creates a request for a quotation that totals more than $500. So in my case, let's go into purchase, create a new RFQ, and for our vendor, we're going to use that same one as our interior right there. Ah, look at that. We get a warning right there. Hmm. Don't use if in a rush. Please use another vendor. It's that one that we set earlier. So let's actually get out of there real quick. So inside of our product section, I'm going to first trigger the block warning by adding the cabinet with the doors as well, because I showed you what happens when I do that. Boom. Once again, as you can see, we can't even order this because it's not in stock until further notice for several months. So, oh my goodness, we're going to have to trash that right there. So instead, I'm going to add two of my acoustic block screens in white color. And remember, I said two. Great. I'm going to click on confirm order. And as we can see, we have an additional to approve stage over here. So this RFQ hasn't actually been changed into a PO just yet. Let's go back to the other account and let's finish this off. And I'm back, oh doers. Now, here we are inside of the purchase app. And at the top of the list, we see our interns newly created RFQ with a nice status of to approve over here in the far right. And if I quickly wanted to just see the ones that are in need of approval, I just go up to the search bar and select it. And then on the left-hand side under the filters area, to approve. Great. And there we have it right there. Now, let's actually approve this RFQ. So let's select it right there. And in the top left corner, you see that approve order button? Click it. And just like that, the RFQ is now converted into a purchase order. And there you have it, Odours, with the approvals and warnings. We can actually ensure our employees avoid costly mistakes. So be sure to check out our other awesome tutorial videos. Come vibe with me. Check out Odoo's purchase app. But thank you for watching, Odooers. Go grab yourself a snack.